What's going on, America? I'm the right wing angel, Oliver Mack. And in this video, we got to talk about Joe Biden speaking at a historically black college and saying white supremacy is the biggest terror threat to our country. Let's check this out. We know that American history has not always been a fairy tale. From the start, it's been a constant push and pull for more than 240 years between the best of us. The American ideal that we're all created equal and the worst of us. A harsh reality that racism has long torn us apart. It's a let me let me just stop this right right here. When you're speaking or, or giving an address at a college, at a graduation, by the way, this is Howard University, a historically black college. When you're giving this kind of address to graduates, you're supposed to be giving them hope. You're supposed to be giving them advice for their future, things that can help them out when they leave college. But instead, he's bringing this message about historical racism in this country. Now, who hears that and wants to go out and find a good job, wants to go out and start a family? He's trying to instill fear in these graduates instead of instilling hope is what he's supposed to do in my opinion that's what i've always seen i've graduated from college and when somebody came to spoke at our school they weren't talking about how horrible our country is how horrible things are in the united states how horrible racism is they talked about things that were going to help us but joe biden wherever he goes whatever he does if he's talking to black people he has to bring this message because they need him and the rest of the Democratic Party. They need black people to continue to live in fear of white supremacy and racists. Oh, it's never really over. But on the best days, enough of us have the guts and the hearts to stand up for the best in us. To choose love over hate, unity over disunity, progress over retreat. To stand up against the poison of white supremacy as I did my inaugural address to a single out as the most dangerous terrorist threat to our homeland is white supremacy. Um, I would disagree. I would disagree that the most dangerous terror threat to our country is white supremacy. I don't think that's the case. I'm sorry. When I leave my house, I'm not in fear of some white supremacy trying to pick me off. I don't think about white supremacy. I don't think about racist. I don't think about anything like that when I leave my house. When I'm in my house, I am far more likely, far, far more likely to be killed by somebody who looks like me than some white supremacist. And that's a fact. I'm not making that up. I'm not trying to be facetious. I'm, I'm telling the 100% God honest truth that I am far more likely to be killed by somebody who looks like me than a white supremacist. So why should I be afraid of white supremacists or racists? I'm not saying this because I'm of the black HBCU. I say it wherever I go. I stand up for truth over lies, lies. Call for power and profit. To confront the ongoing assault to subvert our elections, suppress our right to vote. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For truth over lies, lies, call for power and profit. That's all Democrats know how to do, is tell lies for power and profit. Sorry, it's my dog barking. My wife just came home. That's all they know how to do. They don't know how to do anything else. Everything you see them do. This, this idea that white supremacy is the most dangerous terror threat to our country. That's a lie. That's a lie told for power and profit. It is a lie told to keep black people in a state of fear. You know why? Because the more that they are held down by this, by this idea of white supremacy, the longer they're going to continue to vote for Democrats. To confront the ongoing assault to subvert our elections, suppress our right to vote. So they continue to lie. Lie, lie. That's all Democrats know how to do is lie. But this idea that the most dangerous terror threat to our homeland is white supremacy is a lie. So what happened in the summer of 2020? 
I think what happened in that summer of love was acts of terror to get people to side with them. And if you did not side with them, then they tore up your cities. They did this all across the country. As a matter of fact, it caused $2 billion in damages with the George Floyd riots. How much damage did white supremacists cause in our country over the last 10 years? Wouldn't be close to $2 billion in damages. I don't even know if they caused any damages, to be honest. $2 billion in damages. But he wants to say that white supremacists are the biggest terror threat to our homeland. Also, looking at the George Floyd riots, at least 25 Americans were killed during protests and political unrest in 2020. Were those white supremacists that did that? Nope. They were BLM protesters. They were Marxists. They were Democrats. They were angry that something happened between a police officer and a suspect. So they went out and they terrorized cities all across the country. So no, white supremacy is not the most dangerous terror threat in this country. I believe left-wing extremists are the biggest terror threat to our country. I've seen people do things that are so brazen and bold because they know they can get away with it, because they know they are backed by our current U.S. government, which is sad. But telling these lies about white supremacists to a group of black people who unfortunately will fall for those lies because they've been falling for them for decades now, it just... It's unbelievably sad to me. And I hope black people will actually wake up from this and see that, hey, these people don't care about you. What has Joe Biden done for black people? He gives this speech and he's always talking about white supremacy, trying to instill fear in these in the minds of these new graduates. But what has he actually done for black people? Why was he even invited to Howard in the first place? I don't know. But before he was elected, Joe Biden promised black Americans that he was going to do something for them, right? He had this lift every voice plan that was a counter to Trump's platinum plan for black people. Trump wanted to invest $500 billion into the black community. Joe Biden came out and said, okay, here's my great value version of that plan called the lift every voice plan. Now, what happened to that plan? You wonder what happens when you actually go to the link for that plan? Here it is, JoeBiden.com. Black America. So this is his plan. Lift every voice plan. Let's see what happens when you click on this link. You're lost, Jack. And there's Dark Brandon right there. You're lost, Jack. So basically, this is Joe Biden's message to Black America. You voted for him, and it's your loss for doing it. This is sad. I, I am incredibly disappointed with the way that black Americans continue to vote for the Democrat party and never get anything in return. Their lives are never changed. Their lives are never better. The crime is still bad. The, the, the poverty is still bad, but they continue to vote for the same party. Why? It's like black people have Stockholm syndrome when it comes to voting. These people will never help you. These people will never do anything for you. These people only care about power. Do you trust them? Why do you trust them if you do? Because they have not shown you anything that says that you can trust them. So why do you continue to do so? Donald Trump, everybody hated Donald Trump. They thought that he was trying to destroy our country when he actually did the exact opposite. He did a lot of great things for this country and for black people, Hispanic people, white people, Asian people, Native American people everybody but democrats wanted to destroy him and they're continuing to try to destroy him now do you trust the government as this, this is my my question for black america do you trust the government if you do trust the government then i feel sorry for you if you don't trust the government which i think a lot of you don't based on history why would you trust the government to tell you who to vote for that's exactly what happened with donald trump the government told you to vote for Joe Biden. The government told you that Donald Trump was such a bad person, was an evil racist, a white supremacist, because Donald Trump was not of the government. Donald Trump was an outsider who happened to get elected president, which has never happened before. 
So if the government told you all these bad things about this person, why did you trust them? Why did you think that they were telling the truth? Obviously, if you can't trust them, you cannot trust their word about anyone. So I want you to think about that. The next time you're going out there to vote in 2024 and you, you got a choice between Joe Biden and Donald Trump, remember this. The government told you that Joe Biden was the person you should be voting for. And the government told you that Donald Trump was such an evil, bad guy. If you do not trust the government, don't trust them with that. Don't trust them with your vote. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace.